Every week, thousands of Jehovah's Witnesses spend long hours knocking on doors, hoping to strike up conversations with friendly homeowners who might answer. And what they really hope to get out of these conversations is a positive answer to this question. Would you be interested in a free home Bible study? Well, if the homeowner is interested in the offer to study the Bible, the publisher will quickly set up a time to return to conduct the study. However, what most homeowners don't realize is that a bait and switch is about to take place. Remember at the door, the Jehovah's Witness offer to study the Bible with the homeowner. Now, the Bible isn't just any book. The Bible is a very specific book. And it's a book that the Jehovah's Witness never even for a moment intended to use to conduct the study. Instead, in classic bait-and-switch fashion, the homeowner was baited with the offer to study the Bible. However, during the very first study, the Bible will be switched out with a publication published by the Watchtower Society geared towards gradually easing and indoctrinating the homeowner into the peculiar and often confusing doctrine that the society promotes. Now, using extra biblical literature as a teaching tool is not in itself a bad thing. However, in the case of the Jehovah's Witnesses and their offer of a free home Bible study, two things need to be kept in mind. The first is that the offer is fundamentally dishonest from the beginning. The Jehovah's Witness who makes the offer to study the Bible with the homeowner knows full well that the Bible may be referred to and the Bible may be quoted, but the Bible is not actually going to be used to conduct a study. As a matter of fact, the Jehovah's Witness already likely knows which other book will be used. Secondly, if we really truly believe the Bible to be the Word of God, we also need to understand that extra-biblical literature can be a useful slave, but it's always a wicked master. Jehovah's Witnesses view the scriptures only through the lens of the extra-biblical literature that the society produces. This is why you'll often hear Jehovah's Witnesses saying things like, I'm so thankful for the faithful and discreet slave, and exclaiming, I could have never understood the Bible without their guidance. The Watchtower Society demands that what's written in the publications must be believed and must be used as a means of interpreting the Bible, as the Bible apparently cannot speak for itself. And in a very real way, they're making the Bible the slave and the extra-biblical literature they produce the master. So next time a Jehovah's Witness comes to your door and offers you a free home Bible study, ask them this question. Which book of the Bible will we be studying? When they explain to you that you're not really going to be studying the Bible, instead you're going to be studying some literature that they produce, ask them why they weren't honest with you about that from the start. And you may want to ask them why they would want to study a book written by men with you when they could study a book written by God with you.